So Senator John Kennedy was interviewed on Fox News. The Delta variant is running rampant in his state. Watch him mumble, fumble, and babble his way through this question all the way to talking about Afghanistan. Your state is one of them where the Delta is mm -hmm. uh, a really big problem right now. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think I think that um, clearly we, we we're in the midst of, of of a surge. I think we have enough vaccine and enough uh, uh, medicine to treat everybody in America and to help other people in the world. I believe that. I think that the president's vaccine mandate has probably set us back in terms of getting people vaccinated. The, 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 the president has apparently decided that, it, that he needs to protect Americans from their dangerous constitutional rights. <laughs> apparently, the, the new rule of the Biden administration is that, uh, how can I put this, the Taliban gets Blackhawks and the unvaccinated get fired. How do people like this get elected? You know, when I was a child, a little backstory about me. Yeah, I, I hated politics. I thought politics was stupid. And the reason for that is it was just, it was boring to me. I didn't see any finesse in it. I didn't see why anybody would consider it interesting. And I guess I was just a young and naive child. And part of the reason I thought that was, you know, I figured, you know, it, it's, it's such an important duty, like, to be the president of the United States, right? I figured that the smartest people in the world were effectively doing, you know, one of the most difficult jobs, you know, deciding what direction the country would go, um, drafting legislation and rules and, you know, uh, making major decisions that affect your life as well as my own. But as I grew older, I realized, no, that's not really the case. They're not the smartest people <laughs> at all by any stretch of the imagination. And here we have a prime example by Mr. John Kennedy put on broad display for us that that is not true in the slightest. So they asked him about the Delta variant and he goes, well, yeah, yeah, we're in the midst of a surge, I guess. Yeah, you are. <laughs> nice of you to admit it. And then he goes, I mean, this is outstanding. Um, I think we have enough vaccine. I love how he says vaccine like singular, like just vaccine. <laughs> he didn't put an S at the end of it. He says we have enough medicine. And then he goes on to say we have enough vaccine and medicine to treat the world. So I take it you're in favor of getting rid of these patent protections that we have yet to address, that Joe Biden has yet to address, are you? Is that what that means? I'm not sure what that means. I mean, you, you see, he's all over the place. I don't even think he knows what he means. I mean, this guy, I don't even think he knew he was going to get interviewed that day. He seems so cool. He's like a deer in headlights. Hilarious. I think we have enough vaccine. My God. And then he goes on to say, um, vaccine mandates set us back. So, it, it, you know, if you aren't aware, Joe Biden recently imposed some vaccine mandates, quote unquote, and I say quote unquote because it's not exactly a mandate. He's not being entirely truthful. So especially like when it comes to workers, right? And this is what this really surrounds, right? So first of all, OSHA, they don't even, I'm not even sure they have the authority to go around and maybe not the authority, but the wherewithal to make sure that every single company with over 100 employers is testing or getting their employees vaccinated. You know, I mean, certain people are going to slip through the cracks. Certain people are just going to ignore this. You know, certain companies, you know, I don't expect everybody to, you know, in line, in lockstep, all do this, you know, follow this rule that Joe Biden has imposed. But if you don't want to get the vaccine, you can simply just get tested once a week, provide a negative coronavirus test once a week. And also evidence shows us that when you get mandates like the one that Joe Biden has recently imposed, people go get vaccinated of their own accord. More people go get vaccinated of their own accord. That's a fact. You can actually look this stuff up. More people have gotten vaccinated of their own accord 
due to the mandate that Joe Biden recently has imposed. I mean, that's just the facts. These guys, they just get on air and lie. It's hilarious. I mean, it really is. And it's sad. And he says that um, Joe Biden wants to protect Americans from their rights. Nobody's rights is being treaded on, in my honest opinion. I mean, nobody's coming to your house. A federal agent isn't coming to your house, grabbing you against your will, sticking a needle in your arm. That's what imp impeding on your rights would be. No, you're actually given choices. You get the vaccine, uh, get tested once a week. If none of these things apply to you, then you don't have to worry about any of it. And then to top, to put the, uh, the cherry on top, this guy pivots to the Taliban because he has nothing else to say. He has no go-tos. He has nobody to bring up. So he brings up the Taliban. Easiest straw man in the world. I guarantee you he was for the war, the never-ending war. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's so funny. They, they just bring up, oh, Afghanistan doesn't talk about any specifics, what happened while we were there, the purpose, the fact that we lost a 20-year war. And I say lost hesitantly because we shouldn't have been there in the first place. I mean, absolutely insane. I'm not even going to get into the Afghan pullout, but I'll say this. Should we have pulled out of Afghanistan? Yes. Was the Afghan pullout a failure? Fuck no. How? We evacuated all American soldiers, over 100,000 uh, civilians and Americans were evacuated. What, what, what part of that is a failure? But the media propagated, uh, prop, uh, propagandized the fuck out of the American people with all their bullshit. And so even the Afghan pullout now, the handling of it is looked at negatively. Now, are there parts of it that could have been improved? Of course. But this is, this is going to be the main Republican straw man that we're going to see. I mean... Absolutely insane. And then I almost missed this. He says that um, somehow the vaccinated are going to get fired. Now, look, if a private business is if a private business decides to fire their own employees because of because they're not vaccinated, I do disagree with that. But there's nothing me personally can do about it. But I don't think there's really anything Joe Biden can do about it either. You know what I mean? That's just the way that the system is set up. And that's sad and unfortunate, but it is what it is. But I haven't seen mass firings because people are unvaccinated. That's not even a part of the vaccine mandates. Either get vaccinated or get, or get fired. The fuck? No, that's not true. They just get on here and lie. It's hilarious, man. It's hilarious. I still struggle to come to terms with how these people get elected. It will forever be a mystery for me. I'll never understand it. Ever.